It seems these days mobile phone and GPS technology can do just about anything. Even help scientists learn more about the sex life of the koala. Remote listening stations have been strategically placed on this Australian island to listen in on the koala's grunts. Solar-powered mobile phones are programmed to record the action. The bellows may sound a bit raucous, but the team says it's just a sign of good breeding and they want to learn more. We hope to be able to decipher the sort of koala code um, in their vocalizations and the potential for that to be applied um, to other areas of koala conservation. Studying mating calls is just the beginning. Scientists hope the technology will also help them track the state of the environment. Well, we hope to work with the koala researchers to get a better understanding of the koalas and their ecology. More generally, what we're trying to do is to understand the heartbeat of the environment. We want to be able to measure environmental health using advanced acoustic technologies. The collected data are then uploaded to the internet and analyzed. And so far, they've found that females tend to travel farther during the mating season. At some point in the breeding season, each female will show some exaggerated movement, uh, more than she normally makes, that at that time she's probably going looking for a male because the males um, don't seem to have these same periods of exaggerated movement. So maybe the males are advertising to the females. But what the male koalas lack in mobility, they make up for in voice, especially when midnight rolls around. While they do bellow throughout the night, um, a lot of the bellowing occurs around midnight, so we're not exactly sure why that is. But um, yeah, so we found a couple of things like that out. Thanks to these recordings, scientists could be a step closer to cracking the koala code, and the research may be used to help with breeding programs in the future. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press. Thank <laughs> you.